Hi, Darren Mangum here, the PPM attorney. I uh, wanted to just put out this video today to talk a little bit about a news, uh, a news article that uh, came out on a, a few weeks ago uh, regarding cryptocurrency lawsuits. And this one in particular, in fact, I'll put a link to it uh, in my uh, in the description down below when I post this to YouTube. But uh, basically, this is a court out in the Ninth Circuit in California against Ripple, uh, a crypto. Obviously, everybody's heard of Ripple, high flying cryptocurrency. Uh, I mean, the article itself is, uh, you know, it's it's written for lawyers by lawyers talking about, you know, should the federal courts be hearing, you know, be hearing uh, cases brought in state court regarding securities fraud claims. Uh, but I think the, the more, the, the broader, the broader issue I'd like to highlight uh, to, or bring to your attention is that, you know, in this case, I mean, the, the, the allegations, uh, which was, which were initially filed in state court, claims that Ripple violated the registration requirements of the Securities Act and state security statutes when it ran an online initial coin offering or ICO for its cryptocurrency called XRP, or obviously Ripple. Um, uh, the, the, um, you know, during the ICO, the company issued digital assets in exchange for fiat currency, but the suit also alleges that Ripple used dodgy tactics to bolster its profits from XRP's price rise and created a hundred billion tokens out of thin air. I mean, these are the allegations, you know. And, and I'm not, I'm not here to to comment or criticize Ripple or any any of the, um, you know, the the facts of this case. But what this case does, in my opinion, highlight is that hey, you know, look, even even companies like Ripple, other cryptocurrency companies that are uh, you know, well established, you know, certainly, you know, looking back historically, the way that they did their ICO, the way they did their initial coin offering, uh, certainly, uh, you know, you know, without, you know, without using a private placement memorandum, tons and tons of cryptocurrency companies have done that. And, um, you know, and again, the exposure is huge. Um, you know, what I've been doing lately for cryptocurrency issuers is uh, obviously new cryptocurrency issuers that are looking to put out a, uh, a uh, an offering memorandum that's in full compliance with state and federal securities laws. You know, I help them with that. But then I also do uh, cleanup work. And, you know, again, you may have done a cryptocurrency offering, an ICO, without uh, complying with the security statutes. That doesn't mean you're totally out of luck. We certainly, we could do, you know, again, instead of doing a draconian type, rescission offer, you could certainly uh, look to, um, uh, you know, provide an offering disclosure memorandum. In fact, the exchange, I've done a number lately of exchange offerings where, you know, the, the prior tokens that were issued may have not, you know, may have, again, may or may not have been issued under federal securities law guidelines, but hey, you know, here's a disclosure memorandum that does meet those standards. And hey, we're going to basically exchange those tokens one for one or however you're going to do that. And, and sometimes that, you know, again, puts you in a better position to kind of clear the deck or, you know, especially if you're able to get general releases uh, from those uh, from those prior uh, cryptocurrency buyers. Um, you know, the challenge there is sometimes, you know, you don't even know who these people are. I mean, that's a whole other issue that I could talk about in another video. But anyway, just wanted, it, it, you know, just the context of, hey, this is, uh, you know, this is what could happen if you're not doing your cryptocurrency or your ICO right. I mean, you know, you're, yeah, you know, you may face, uh, you know, again, federal, state, uh, securities fraud claims, just like this case. Again, you can, you know, go look it up or read it. I'll provide it here in the link below. But anyway, you just, when, when you're doing this stuff, you definitely want to uh, have a seasoned securities attorney on your side. I've um, uh, been around the block a lot uh, on a lot of deals. I've uh, been doing this 18 years, going on 19 years now. So, uh, you know, happy to uh, give you a, a you know, my opinion about your deal, free consultation, uh, feel free to reach out to me and we could talk about your particular cryptocurrency deal. Or if you know, if you're not doing, if you're doing any kind of offering, you know, we can certainly 
uh, take a look at it and uh, you know help you out. So that's my job is to help you out, make sure you're doing it right. Uh, again, Darren Mangum, the PPM attorney, uh, feel free to give me a call, 801-787-9072 is my cell. Thanks, bye.